Hey everyone, it's John from App Chat Radio, and today I'm going to show you my new computer build. I'm going to make a Windows 10 machine, and I want to kind of go through uh, the different parts and show you the build itself. You're probably asking yourself, hey John, why are you shooting in your kitchen? Well, there's one good reason for that. It's the lighting. As you can see, I get a lot of light from my backyard, but also I have these pendant lights that come down um, that go right over the island and make it a lot easier for me to be able to shoot and make the video look good. First off, I'm using a Thermaltake V21 Micro ATX board. The brains of the machine is going to be a Pentium G3258 that is overclockable. I'm using an MSI Z97i AC motherboard. This will overclock the Pentium while allowing me to do onboard wireless AC to it. I'm using 8 gigs of Kingston Fury HyperX RAM. Storage for this computer is a Samsung 850 EVO SSD that's 250 gigs. The fan for this machine is a Corsair AF140 Quiet Edition, and it's actually in the computer right now. You can see it sitting right there. So here's what it looks like with the uh, top and sides taken off of it. And I'll give you a little tour of the chassis. Number one, um, it's not supposed to really, well, it's supposed to go any way you want it. Um, that's one of the reasons I bought this, but this is actually starts off that way so that the components, the motherboard sits down there, fans over here. You can see the power supply is in it, but I didn't like that setup, so I decided to change it up a little bit and go more for a different approach so that the motherboard sits right here and goes out this way. I just like the way it looked better um, changing it around like that. I cheated a little bit, and if I come around this way, you'll see there's already a power supply. This power supply was from an old build it's just some generic thing that I'm gonna use for now, just because I don't have the money to buy a new one, but I already had something, so I decided to use it. But you can see, I have the SSD already put in here. Um, like I said, I cheated a little bit. I've been waiting for the motherboard. The motherboard finally came. Now I can start really going at it. I'm not gonna do a super wonderful job of cable management, but you can kind of see the startings of it. Motherboard will sit here with the CPU on top of it, this way, not this way. And let's open the motherboard up and see what it looks like. So here's the motherboard, and I'm gonna try to open it up one-handed. It sits here in a anti-static box, or plastic bag. Let's see what's... So we have two ATX um, cords here for the hard drive. Here's the antennas for the back of it. it has Wi-Fi um, built in. So here's the antennas for that. Here's the I.O. shield, and it's actually a better looking one. It's not just the silver one like you normally will see. You can actually see it's, it's black and it has some nice ports. Um, here are drives. Manual. And instructions telling you how to use a heatsink. And we're going to use the box as the stand to put the motherboard on to put the pieces together. So here's the motherboard. Like I said, it's a mini ITX board. Um, can take up to, I believe, 32 gigs of RAM, but it only has two slots right here. This is the Wi-Fi. Goes all the way here to these two Wi-Fi. Um, you put the antennas on there. Um, it has USB 2.0 the whatchamacallit, I can't remember what the name of this port is, um, but it's pretty standard for gaming. It also has, let me see if I can get these two off. So it has two output displays right here. This is HDMI and this is DisplayPort. And DisplayPort, um, you know, is not as common to people who don't know about it. Well, that doesn't make any sense. It's not common to anybody who doesn't know about it. Uh, in the, it's pretty common when it comes to computers. Uh, DisplayPort is able to push out uh, more uh, higher resolutions at a higher refresh rate. So if you look at these two, they will do 4K at 60 frames a second. Um, I think it's 3280. 
not the 40, gosh, my numbers are so bad. I'll let you know. Um, I'll have the description in there. Um, other here is DVI, uh, four, H, or four USB 3.0s, and it has dual NICs on it. And I know it has to do with some type of gaming to be on the clearest gaming one, but I don't honestly don't know exactly the reasoning they do this. And I'll have to do some research and get back to you. Uh, here's all your audio outputs as well. So we're going to do a couple things here. We are going to install the CPU. We're going to install the RAM. So first thing you do is with the CPU is here's the CPU right here. If you look on the CPU down right in here, this corner, focus, focus, there you go. You can see there's a little triangle. If you look at here, you can see right there is a little triangle. So you have to match those two up. So all you basically do is you take, pull this up, and grab the CPU out. CPU, so triangle to triangle, pops right in there. You don't really have to force or anything to do anything like this. Um, there, this is a cover, and as soon as I go to do this, it's gonna pop right off. And there it is, and the CPU is now installed in here. Next, I have my RAM, and I'm doing it one-handed. There we go. So right here, Kingston HyperX Fury. If you're not sure, it's HyperX, it's HyperX. It tells you right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for the little notch right there and make sure that that notch fits in correctly to here. So all you do is this side does not move, this side does. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the side that does not move first. Kind of work it in. Come on. There we go. One and the other. Slide it down. Put some pressure on it. You'll hear a click. And you see that one move in a second click. So that dim is installed. We'll put the second one in. So now push this down a little bit. We gotta balance it out. There we go. Push that in. I heard a slight click. Push this in. And now we have the RAM and the CPU installed into the motherboard. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the heat sink let me put it that way, on the CPU. This is what is provided by Intel with this um, CPU. I'm going to use it for time being. Eventually I will upgrade to a better either heat sink or water cooled. I plan on using this for a while and eventually upgrading the CPU to an i7, something overclockable so that I can just have some kick-ass uh, speed. Uh, but at the same time, this is what I could afford for right now and it will work fine. Um, typically you would take and put thermal paste on top of the CPU. It doesn't need it right now because the CPU fan already has some uh, put on there out of the, from the manufacturer. So that will be fine for what we are doing right now. Um, so we're gonna go and put the CPU fan on. Take this bad boy. And the reason I'm angling it this way is that the fan header is right here. And right there, it says CPU fan, that is the um, outlet to plug the fan header into for the CPU. I'm going to loosen this up, pull this out, go ahead, and I should put the CPU in first. So all you have to do is just put pressure down and hear a click. Oops, let me try that again. All you have to do is put pressure down and it will click into place. There you go. Last one. So they've all clicked into place. Make sure, yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna take this and plug it right into where it says CPU fan. Make sure four pins to four pins. And if you can see right there, it has a little notch that will slide right in. And there it is, it's in. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and mount this into the case. So I've added a helper to help me do my build today. This is Ben, my son. Hi, can you say hi, Ben? Can you smile?
Smile. Smile. Nah, he's working on his own stuff right now. So the next thing we're going to do is actually install the I.O. shield in before we can put the motherboard in here. And if you notice, I've put this on its side just because it will be easier to install it. So I'm going to take the I.O. shield and I am going to put it right in here. Now always make sure that you're putting the I.O. shield in the right way. It's a lot easier to do with two hands, so I had to do two hands. But you can see now the I.O. shield is in properly. Now we are going to put the motherboard in. Okay, so here's the motherboard. I'm just going to slowly put it down on here. And then make sure that the I.O. side fits in correctly into here. And I noticed one thing. I've got to take off the cover on the DVI. Okay, covers off the DVI. So let's try to put this in right here. And there's a beginning fit. But what I need to make sure I do is that there are little stands already built in. Let's see right here. So what I'll do is I'll push it a little bit. And with some pressure, I will put the screws in. Okay, I've put one screw in right here. See, there it is. And now I'm just gonna continue to do that in a star pattern. So I'll do it over here, then do that one, and then do the one over here. So there's only four. If you notice though, there are stands here, here, and here. That would be for a uh, micro ATX. This is a mini ITX board. That would be for a micro ATX board. So now we have the motherboard in place and there's the back IO shield and the motherboard itself put into place with the screws on it so the next thing we need to do is put the cables into it okay so I went ahead and did the cabling and that's horrible cabling management but like I said the power supply is temporary um, all this is temporary for now and you can hear that I have a helper talking with me but you can see it right there down below is the power supply, down there, and here is the cable management. It's horrible. It actually took me more time than I thought that it was going to take, so that's why I didn't videotape it, but here's an idea of what it looks like. So after we put it all together, I wanted to show you guys the final build, and here it is. Here is the computer all put together. You can see it's got the window on the side, a little reflective, but that's okay. Um, the sides are really easy to pop off. I just unscrew right here and screw the bottom one and then they just slide right off. I'll put this on top and you can see inside of there I still have horrible mismanagement of the cables but we'll take care of it eventually. Uh, but you can see the computer is running. It's working. I actually moved the fan that was right here up to here and there it is right there um, there was a front fan a 200 millimeter front fan that goes in between uh, in between the case right here and it was just so loud I just I couldn't so I needed to uh, take care of that I took that out and put that other fan in. it's got plenty of airflow um, I was able to overclock it and uh, here's the awesome screen flow that you guys are gonna be able to see um, if I go here, go to properties, you can see right here that it says the processor is a Pentium G3258 at 3.2 gigs, but I've overclocked it to 4.2 on the standard fan that comes with the uh, CPU itself. So, and I'm rocking Windows 10 in there as well. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I had a lot of fun showing you guys the build and doing this. So uh, do me a favor. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe to my channel. If you don't like the video, hit dislike. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm going to make more videos like this. Uh, I'm going to upgrade this build and do a lot more. So I hope you uh, enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.